Hey guys, Aaron's Automotive here, and uh, apologize for the poor lighting. It's it's dark outside because I am changing headlights in my truck. Uh, I am going to be replacing them. I've got a couple of H4 bulbs here. Let's see if I can pull one out of here. They're H4, but don't know if you can see the writing or not. Let's try and focus on that. You can see right beside my thumb it says 90. So these are 90 watt high beams. I believe I believe they are 60 watt low beams. So I'm going to replace some headlights and do a comparison. This light is an HID. This light is a regular H4, uh, 50 watt or 55 watt and 60 watt. So let's turn on. The low beams and the reason I'm replacing this HID stopped working uh, what you're seeing is the two LED rings around the inside of my headlights so it'll show a comparison between the new bulbs and the old bulbs so let's get to changing them so first thing I'm gonna need to do I'm hoping I can do this without removing my battery, because I really don't want to. But, I'm gonna get my flashlight up here. Shine it to where somewhere I can see. Move my headlights so I don't drop them. Right in there is where my bulb is. And the spring tab, you'll be able to see the passenger side a little easier. But there's a little spring tab down in there. So I'm going to have to use two hands for this. And I might need to remove my battery. If I don't need to remove the battery, great. If I do, well, it's just one bolt and I can just take the whole thing and shift it over a little bit. So we'll come back right away. All right, so I did have to end up removing the battery, just moving it over a bit. And then I uh, was able to get my hand in, in behind here and swap out the bulb. So, got it on, just, uh, just feeling to make sure that wires aren't getting hot, they're not going to melt or catch fire. Uh, after all, it is a 100 watt high beam. Now, this is just the low beam that's on right now, but even if we glance at the wall, you can clearly see the difference in the two bulb brightnesses passenger side is much brighter on the low beam. If we click on the high beam, which is a foot switch on this one, on these older trucks, again you can see much brighter. Only thing I'm not liking is the fact that there's these are cheap eBay's for projector lenses and you can kind of see the ring output that it gives, but uh, other than that, they're actually pretty bright. Feel these wires. Let's give it a sniff. I don't smell any melting or burning. Those definitely get warm. Let's we'll put on the low beams again. And you know, shut off the lights. I'm gonna leave my park lights on just for the LED rings. And I'll show you how to go ahead and replace these bulbs on the pass or on the driver's side because it's a lot easier access. Just gonna hang up my flashlight. So right here is the bulb assembly. There's a little spring tab in here that you push up and it'll slide out. And then you just grab your whole bulb. And bring it out. Now this one might be a little trickier. Because I've got some wire taped around here. And you know what? I've actually got the other side upside down. 
Yeah. I'm going to quickly flip this, uh, this side the right way around, and then we'll be back. Alright, so I got the other bulb oriented in the right direction now. And... I'm just going to unplug this one. Try and put you where you guys can hopefully still somewhat see what I'm doing. There. You grab the other bulb. You never want to touch the bulb by the glass. Never. You never want to get your finger oils onto it. So, grab it around the base. Plug that in. And then fish the bulb back in. Might have been easier to plug the system, the bulb in after. There we go. Get that spring tab out of the way. What's catching? Oh, the other half of that spring tab. There we go. And then there's little grooves where the light actually sits in. So you orientate it so that the grooves fit in there. Hard to do looking through a camera. But you get that in. And then you want to close that spring tab. That will hold the bulb in place from falling out. Providing you can get the bulb in there to seat all the way. There we go. Now all that we need to do is turn on the headlights. There. See how much brighter they were than before. Pop on the highs. Oh, that's the brake pedal. There's the high beams. That is definitely brighter. So, I'm going to take my old bulb. Put it just in the box that the other bulbs came in. Along with this HID, I'm going to keep it as well just because the bulb is still good, but the ballast is shot. Put those down carefully. Move my tools. We're going to close the hood and take it onto the street and take a look at the brightness of them. So, come back when we're on the street. Okay guys, so we are in my back alley, uh, there's no street lights or anything, so I really wish this actually showed up better, it doesn't seem to, but recording on a Samsung Galaxy, so, but you can't see it as well as I can, but there's a couple of telephone poles right over there. Oh, I can see the next one's way way down in the distance. So I'll go for a quick little walk down the alley here. I know it's not showing up on the camera really well. But I can still see all the fence boards and everything back here. And those are the low beams. So I'll go and uh, flip on the high beams. Can't see it, but there is a garage there. This is where I was, and we're going to walk back to that garage. 
with the high beams. So, high beams are on. Things might be a little bit better illuminated for you now. Uh, so you guys could probably see a little bit of that garage now. Back to where I was. And there's the high beams. So at the end of the video, I'll have a couple of screenshots. You know, side by side picturing, I guess, of the low and the high beams on it. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, Give it a thumbs up, comment below. If you want to see more videos, I ask that you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.